All right, so you go to render by sending to media encoder and it doesn't work. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why it doesn't work. Th I show everyone that first because it's the best way to go. It's the best workflow, but there's this update issue between After Effects and media encoder where it seems like they update one and then it stops talking to the other via that link technology that's supposed to just send things over because when it works, it's great but it doesn't work all the time. I run into it too. Just right now, mine seems to be working fine, which is great, but uh, I can't, I haven't been able to decipher what it is that makes it work or not work because it, it changes. I have it, I'm working fine for a while and then all of a sudden it doesn't and then I do something and it works again. Um, the first thing, I mean, just making sure that both After Effects and Media Encoder are up to date, uh, if they have any, because if they're not in the most, on the same version, then there's very little chance of it working. Regardless, <clears throat> how can you render if you can't get After Effects to talk to Media Encoder? You can tell After Effects to render by itself. So I'm gonna go to Composition. Instead of Add to Media Encoder queue, I'm gonna go to Add to Render queue. And so that opens up Render queue down here, which is a separate uh, tab. And queue is a list. Here's the previous things I've exported. Let's just get rid of those. The blue one is the current one. And there's two important parts here. This part here, lossless. And so I'm gonna make sure that I have AVI checked and under format options, I'm gonna say video codec none. So it's gonna make an uncompressed video. So this will be a large file, okay? Even this, we'll see that this very, very short video, just a couple of seconds will be a few hundred megabytes, okay? Um, Cause we're gonna send it to media encoder, but we're gonna do it manually. We're gonna render and then use media encoder manually to smush it. And so I'm gonna say none. Okay, and then uh, if you have audio, it, audio is owned by default now, so that's fine. And I have this set to AVI if I'm on Windows. Uh, if you're on Mac, I believe it has to say MOV. Here, this is the name of the file you're gonna make. I'll call this impact2, sure. And now I'll render, and it'll chug across. If it's a very quick project, that'll happen super fast. Uh, now, if I look in that folder, I will see that movie right here, the one I just made, 437 megabytes. So that's obviously not uploadable, okay? You don't wanna send that to the internet anywhere. Uh, now, with Media Encoder open, uh, let me just clear the deck here. Uh, yes, yes. Now, I can just drag that movie into here and use the Vimeo settings, which mine is set to by default, and then recompress it here, and hit play, and does that. And now if I look in that folder, there it is. So here's the A, let's zoom in. The, this is the AVI file, 437 megabytes. This is the MP4 file that is smushed by Media Encoder, 350 kilobytes, okay? And let's see if we can see a difference. Good. Yeah, I'd have a hard time A being that and picking it out. So that's the power of video compression, right? And so now this one, the MP4 file would be the one I would turn in and send to other places, et cetera. So that's how you get around it if for some reason After Effects is not talking to Media Encoder.